If you have a younger tree, then you can simply start with your pruning by making sure you've got good light into the tree when you're pruning. So you're reducing to about six limbs per meter of tree height, um, making sure they're well spaced around, around your trunk. Um, and then you come in and you reduce the, you remove all the buds underneath the limbs because they're in a shaded position and they don't give good fruit quality. The other thing is we found that terminal buds give much better fruit quality than spurs and then they again give much better fruit quality than auxiliary buds on the first year wood. So the first thing we do is also we remove all the auxiliary flower buds on the first year wood. Um, we try to leave terminals where we can um, and remove spurs but if it's obviously it's okay to leave spurs if we don't have enough terminals. So we actually set it on a limb per limb basis. So we might want to set, for instance, six fruit per limb cross-sectional area, unit limb cross-sectional area. And we have what we call an aquilid fruit disc. Um, also go by the name of mafcot disc, there's a whole range of names. Um, and they actually have, we can measure our branch diameter. So I can just illustrate here. Um, I'll just take a sub-branch for this illustration. So for instance, I wanted to measure this branch here. I just insert that in there. And that actually tells me the diameter. And this particular brand of disc also gives me the, the, the area. So that's actually 8 millimetres diameter or 0.5 square centimetres basal area. So if I turn my disc over, I've, it's then got F values on it and that will tell me how many fruit, if I want for instance 6 fruit per unit cross-sectional area on that branch, that will tell me to put 3 fruit on this particular branch with this diameter. So if I was using the whole branch back here, this branch is actually a little bit, uh, just does it, just does it. So that is actually 20, 28 millimetres diameter, um, and that will carry 37 fruit. So this whole branch, I'd be looking at putting, putting 37 fruit on. So I would start by, I would go through and I'd count the number of flower buds on the, on the branch can be a little bit hard to tell at this stage of development between vegetative and floral. We want to make sure that we're counting floral not vegetative. The vegetative buds tend to be much thinner and more pointy than the floral. Um, if you're new to this it's probably easier to wait until your trees are at a green tip or close to because then it's really easy to distinguish the flower and vegetative buds. But the first thing you do is you go in and you remove anything underneath the branch because that's going to be shaded and not very good, good fruit quality. Um, if they're bigger, you can cut them off with secateurs, otherwise you can just break, break buds off. Where you've got multiple buds, uh, may not be able to see it here, but we've got two buds coming out here. We don't want two there, so I just flip one off. So that's the sort of thing you do for, clean, for your cleanup. Um, I can suggest now that this does not have 37 flower buds on it at this stage. Um, if we set this up for ASE, in a couple of years it, you'd find that it would have sufficient. Um, here again we've got three buds here so I'd reduce that to one. So it's just simplifying things. Where you've got very complex spurs, uh, if I can just find a, a very complex spur here. <laughs> Sorry you have to follow me around. Um, these these spurs here are quite old and very complex, so any fruit that you're getting out on the end tends to be much poorer quality, so I want to simplify that. Um, if I was leaving this on, I would just take that back to there. But in reality, I would be cleaning up everything on this trunk because it's in low light, so it's not very good quality fruit. So I would actually remove all this. And I would also cut it to encourage new growth coming out from underneath so that the, the new growth is not horizontal and that will give us much better fruiting wood as well. So a tree like this I would basically just come in and clean up all of this. Particularly something like this which is very very shaded.